it out. Try to cool, better watch how you move. CEO, million dollar plug entertainment. Back at y'all with another video. Let me undo this shit, bro. I'm sitting in the car. Like, I ain't driving, so. Got the McDonald's. Um, I guess you could call this the the first mukbang of the channel, or mukbang or whatever they call that. But yeah, yeah, can't go can't go wrong with that. So this little mukbang, mukbang or whatever. And uh, we just about to get into a little bit of something. Let's talk about some shit. You know. That needs to be talked about. So. I had to leave a toxic situation. For the betterment of me and my my sanity I ain't gonna say mental health cause I feel like today in today's society that mental health thing is just overrated because every time you go on social media People are always talking about, oh, my mental health, my mental health. Um, my mental health is not good right now. Yo, that that's a coward's excuse. Just like, think about this. Think about all the serial killers throughout history. Where was their mental health at? When nobody screaming mental health for them. Where was their mental health at? You know? So, when people be saying, oh, my mental health. Like, just stop it. Just say, just admit that you're a weirdo. You're probably lazy. Like a lot of us are, including myself. And you just don't have a whole lot going on right now. So we're not going to talk about mental health. You're going to say, like, I left the toxic situation for my sanity. To maintain my sanity. To keep myself from going crazy. And it's hard to do that, you know, in that type of environment because you have to deal with this toxic person. Like the hamburger on deck. You have to deal with this toxic person. And you don't know if the outcome of you dealing with them is going to break you. And I admit, it was a couple of times where I snapped off because I was sick of the bullshit. And um, I wasn't going to deal with this anymore. So when you make a decision to leave, All of a sudden, you're the bad guy. How? I'm leaving this situation that is no good for me. That's causing me stress. Um, causing me to deal with a person that I don't like. And just causing me financial trouble. 
And me analyzing all of that and saying, this is no good. I don't like this. I'm uncomfortable. I should have cut this person off years ago. And now that it's gotten to this point where I'm out of my element. I'm not happy. I don't want to be around this person. I need to leave. But 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 I get called called out my name and all types of bitch ass this and that for me leaving. Because I refuse to be around somebody that ain't going to be shit. And just all around just a toxic fucked up person. I don't need that in my life. I'm too old for that shit. I don't. It's the same shit. Kevin Gates said when they interviewed him. It was like. If you entertain a clown, you become part of the circus. And I ain't going to lie. For a minute, I was the clown in the circus. But now that I got a bigger mindset and been knowing what I want, out of life all of a sudden because I decide to leave I'm a, I'm a bad person no that's not that's not how this works you cannot entertain clowns in the circus remove yourself from the situation and let that person be miserable. If you, you don't have to stick around for the foolishness, you don't. Because if you do, you only destroying yourself. And then you'll get unmotivated. Not to do anything because you're around a person that's not motivated to do anything. Never was motivated to do anything. You know, can't come from a broken home. You feel me? And then expect you to stick around and deal with their issues when you don't have to. I'm grown. I don't have to deal with your nonsense. I don't. And, and now in society, people think that's normal. Oh, I'm going to put up with this person because I love them. Or I'm going to put up with this person because like, oh, we've been through so much and I've known them a long time. Bullshit. Don't do that. Remove yourself from the situation. That's all you got to do. You got to put your foot down like, I'm not dealing with this. I don't want to be here. Um, I'm not as happy as I was a couple years ago when I was by myself in my apartment, living by myself and not dealing with anybody's bullshit. But the reason why I am where I am right now is because I did not say one simple word. And that was no. All I had to do a couple years back would say no and 
I think I be, would have been progressed into an even better situation than I was when I got my first apartment. I was working my job, had a good job, getting paid every week. You know, I didn't have a car at the time, but I had a good job. You know, I, w I was able to get food and, you know, buy things for myself. You know, all I had to do when, you know, this person came around and needed my help because the person that they was dealing with got tired of their bullshit just like I did and decided that, hey, like, yo, you got to go. Get out of here. You causing way too many problems. Like, get the fuck on. You know, all I had to do was say no. You can't allow people that don't bring your value to your life back in your life. And then get mad at you when you don't want to deal with them. Like, how you get mad at me? You're the fucked up person. I'm the one trying to maintain my sanity and do what I need to do to be successful in life. If you want to be a loser for the rest of your life, go ahead. But don't involve me. Don't involve me in your plans. Because I wouldn't put on this earth to be no slouch. I'm about to, I'm getting mine. I'm about to rise up in the ranks of what I'm trying to do out here. Don't involve me in your loser plans. I'm not going to deal with it. I don't have to. And just because we had a, you know, a sit couple situations together, you know, you're not on what I'm on. And I and I saw that from the beginning. But, you know, me being me, um, when that situation came around, when I was like 25, I didn't see it. No, wait, I did see it. I just ignored the shit and thought like, oh, man, this. Uh, let me give this person a chance. Maybe, you know, you know, they'll come around and, you know, be on the same shit that I'm on. It didn't happen. Um, instead of me putting high expectations on myself that I had before I met this person, I was putting high expectations on them because they were with me. And everything was cool at first, but it was just it was just like little shit. Little shit that was like I seen like for myself that should have been like, hey, you know what? This isn't working out how I expect it to be. Let me go ahead, leave you alone, and let me get back to doing what I need to do so I can be more than what I am right now. You go off and, and do your thing, but as I can see right now, this ain't working out. And from what I'm seeing, I don't I don't even want to be cool with you. You know, we we're not friends. We we not cool. None of that. You 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 go your way and I'll just go on in the straight and narrow path and do what I need to do to be successful. You know, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't hit me up on social media like, hey, like we haven't talked in a while. OK, well, it's going to stay. It's going to stay that way. Go off and, and do your thing. And play them games with somebody else. Because it's, it's not going to work over here. You feel me? And that's the shit that I should have seen 
from the jump. Should have saw that shit from the jump. But I didn't pay attention to the signs. I didn't pay attention to the people around me that were saying, hey, why are you with this person? You could be doing so much better. I don't know. I just, you know, when you're young, you're hard-headed and you don't listen. But now I see why. And at this point, you know, I've been moved on, done, whatever. At this point, now, because all of the trials and tribulations, like the next girl I get with, if, if I do decide to get serious with her, and oh, things like that, it, it's going to be difficult for me. It's, it's going to be real difficult because I'm not, I'm not about to go into that, that place that I shouldn't have been back in 2015. I shouldn't have been there. I shouldn't have never dealt with that person. But now, you know, everything that's going on on social media and these females um, doing this, that, and the third, and, you know, social media killing relationships, I would rather just be a hoe for the rest of my life and only deal with, with, um, deal with females on a physical level. That means we, we link up, we hang out, you know, you want to get food? All right, you better have some money to pay for your own food because I'm not paying for your food. I'm paying for my food and you better have money to pay for your food. You know, we link up, hang out, go eat, and now you know from the jump. Like, you know, we can be cool, but anything serious, it's not going to happen. I will never give my time, my energy to another female on a serious level ever again. This um, situation has taught me to um, do not ignore the warning signs when you first meet somebody. And that person is going to show you who they are the first time. If they show you who they are the first time, believe it. And then distance yourself from that shit. And don't go back around it ever again. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, Won't be getting serious with no female ever again. Like, she got to prove to me that that she real. That's why I got to get my passport and take my ass overseas. You feel me? I got to do that. Got to go overseas. Got to get out the country. This year... Next year and beyond, I'm focusing on me, my fitness, my finances, and getting this content out on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. And I'm going to build my brand and be a force in the city. Because I am Chad Too Cool. Better watch how you move. CEO of Million Dollar Plug Entertainment. I'm going to link all my socials in the description. See y'all in the next video. Out.